just your first impression. What do you sense is down there? Native American tribe. Native American tribe. Very good. Tell me what it looks like there. Flat. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. Maybe a couple hundred people. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Teepees. Mm -hmm. Look down at your feet and see if you can see your feet. What do you see? Tan. Tan shoes. Mm -hmm. What are these shoes made of? Mm -hmm. Leather skin. Mm -hmm. What else are you wearing? Same kind of material dress. Mm -hmm. How long is this dress? Just past knees. Mm -hmm. What else? Everybody's nice. Mm -hmm. Do you have any jewelry on or anything to adorn you? Some stuff in my hair. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. How old do you feel there? Allow the number to pop up. Twelve or thirteen. Mm hmm. Twelve or thirteen. Tell me more. It's very happy. Mm -hmm. Everybody's happy. So what is it that you're doing there? Hanging out with other kids. Mm. What are you doing with them? <clears throat> just huddled together in the middle of a village and everybody's just doing their thing. Mm -hmm. We're just watching. What do they call you there? Listen for your name. Otana. Otana? Mm -hmm. Very good. So, Tana, I want you to close that scene and let's see you doing something significant in that life. What's happening? Weaving. Weaving. Mm -hmm. Who are you weaving with? Mm, other women. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're weaving today? Blankets. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? Mm, 19. 19. Tell me more about your day. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Everything is enjoyable. Tell me more. I just listen to them talk, mm -hmm. the older women, mm -hmm. learn things. Mm -hmm. what, do they what do they talk about? They talk about men and kids and weather. Mm -hmm. And do you have a family of your own, Latana? No. 
So let's close that scene and let's see where it is that you live. Close the scene. Let's go to the place where you live. What does it look like? TP. Mm-hmm. Furs and blankets. How big is this TP? Kind of medium. Mm-hmm. Who lives there with you? Siblings. Siblings. Mm-hmm. So we're too big to stay with the parents. Uh, how many siblings do you have? Two. Sister and a brother. Mm-hmm. Take a look at your sibling's eyes. The eyes of the window to the soul. See if you recognize your siblings. As somebody in the life. Julie. Do any of them seem familiar? I think my brother is my son. Mm-hmm. Can't really see my sister. He feels familiar? My brother does. It okay. seems like my son. Very good. Very good. So let's close that scene now. Close that scene and let's go to another significant day. So let's see what's going on there. Not much happens. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about your life? I like it. You like it's it? Peaceful. Peaceful. Very good. So let's see if we could find another event in your life that's even better. Another happy event. Let's move forward in life. Are you indoors or outdoors? Outdoors. Mm-hmm. What's happening? Watching kids play in the water. Hmm. Describe this place for me. What does it look like? It's a little river. Mm-hmm. It's not big. It's like a big creek. Mm-hmm. Who are these children? Just kids in the village. Mm-hmm. You're watching them? Yeah. Are you by yourself or are there other women with you? By myself. Mm-hmm. I think I'm old now. Mm-hmm. How old do you feel there? Maybe Seventy something. Mm-hmm. Kind of old. Yes. How does it feel to watch these children? Nice. Mm-hmm. Are these your family? Or are they children from no. the village? It's a village. Did you ever have children of your own, Otana? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. What else do you get from watching this? (laughs) 
I think it was just about love. Everybody loved each other. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So, Tana, let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Move forward and tell me where you are. In the TV. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself? Or are there others with you? <clears throat> My brother and uh, <clears throat> some kind of medicine woman person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. try and help me scan your body and see what it is that's wrong with you just old mm -hmm. how do you feel stiff mm-hmm but good but good very good so I want you to go to the time right before you take your breath and tell me what thoughts are going through your head about your life that's great mm -hmm. it's a great life so take your last breath now Take your last breath and transition out of that body. Leave that body behind. And tell me where you go. What do you experience? Look around you. <clears throat> Stay and watch for a while, make sure everybody's okay. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you do while you're watching? and love to my brother because it's hard for him. It's hard for him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just for a little bit. He was very close to you, wasn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does he understand that it's you? Yeah, he understands. Mm -hmm. It's He's afraid of death, but it's just a goodbye. Mm -hmm. So how do you know when it's time to finally let go of that life? When he's okay again. Mm -hmm. So let's go to that point and tell me what happens after you know that your brother is okay. I think some guides come. Mm -hmm. So describe these guides for me. What do they do? It's 
somebody's standing next to me and telling me that it's okay to go now, but I can't see who it is. Mm-hmm. Does it feel like male or female <clears throat> energy? Male. Male. Mm-hmm. What do you do now? He has blue eyes. Mm-hmm. What kind of attire is he wearing? Anything that you can pinpoint? Just like pants and a shirt, like soft, no shape mm -hmm. clothes that are nondescript. Mm -hmm. And I can't even tell you the color. Mm -hmm. Maybe a light blue. Okay. So what happens now that he tells you to go? I know him, but I don't know how I know him, so I know it's okay. Mm -hmm. So what happens? I think we just look at, our, at the light and then we're there. Mm -hmm. So what happens at the light once you get there? What do you see? Look around you. How do you feel? Feel fine. Mm -hmm. So now that you're in your light, let's go see your council, the people who talk to you between lives. Let's go find them. That's a big, long table. Mm -hmm. I like big, long tables. Mm -hmm. What's this table made out of? What do you imagine it is? Um, a light wood. Mm-hmm. What else is there besides the table? Flowers in the middle. Mm-hmm. What else? There's people mm -hmm. coming in. I think the guy, I think that's Michael, my stepbrother. Mm -hmm. Is he a guide? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who else do you recognize? How many people have walked into this room? Ten or twelve? Mm -hmm. That's quite a bit. And what do these people do now? Telling me that that life was a vacation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed it. What do you tell them? I did very much. I want to do it again. What do they tell you? Let's think about that. Two vacations in a row doesn't sound like a good idea. Tell me more about this meeting. What else do they say? Talking about options for another life. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Who comes up with the options? They're reminding me of things that I want to get done. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Which is what? Work on my character. Mm-hmm. What else? Help other people work on their character. And how is this accomplished? <clears throat> so everybody in the village that I just left were nothing but light. So then you take little lights and you put them in places where there's not so much light. Mm -hmm. So everyone in that village was part of your light crew? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what is the purpose of this group? Do you all have the same purpose? Just light. Mm -hmm. Positive. Positive light. Mm -hmm. But you can't stay together forever. You have to go out where there's need for positive. But you can go in groups. You don't have to be alone. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody in particular from that group that you want to take with you on the next line? My brother. Mm -hmm. Is he in the meeting with you? No. So what else happens in this meeting? What else do you discuss? options. Mm-hmm. So let's go over the options that they're giving you. There's a old Indian chief at the table. Mm-hmm. He wants to be my dad. He's my dad. Mm-hmm. Did he sign up for being your dad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that he is going to do in your life to help you? Have you talked it out? Just be silly together. Mm -hmm. Have a good time. Have a good time. Good. Lighten things Mm -hmm. up. Lighten up your life? Yeah. Okay. What else? I think this lifetime is the one that they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Because I know it's going to be harder. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to do it. What are you telling them? I kind of dread it. But they're saying that's why you just had the whole lifetime of light Mm -hmm. to be charged for this. Uh, mm -hmm. 
You can do it. Do you have any doubts in your mind that you can do it? No, but I just dread it. Mm -hmm. A little bit, but not totally. Do you have a, a really distinct mission as to what you're going to do? Purpose. Hold on to being positive and happy, even though it'll be hard to do. And then people who can't do it will see you doing it. Mm hmm. So you're kind of like going to be an example? An example. Mm -hmm. And the practice will help your character. Mm -hmm. And what is the character that we're working on? Kindness. Mm -hmm. Because negative energy makes me mad. Mm -hmm. But it's the same as positive energy. Do you need positive and negative energy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't have all positive. It's so. It sounds good, but it doesn't really work. Mm -hmm. What else the council, is the council telling you about the lifetime that you'll live? The next one. Do you get any glimpses of it? What do you see? My brother from that lifetime mm -hmm. is my son now. Mm -hmm. Because he wants me to go. Me more. He always waits for me to go first. Mm -hmm. It's like you're the way shower. You show the way for him. He's always quiet, mm -hmm. but he's always taken care of. But you don't know it. What kind of connection do you have with your brother? Are you soul, twin souls or soulmates? Or are you together all the time? Yes, soulmate, because we're really, really the same. Mm -hmm. Very much the same. Mm -hmm. So you always travel together? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that the Council has told you about the life you're about to live? Won't be that bad. Mm -hmm. Be okay. Be 
Who's going to be guiding you in that lifetime that you're about to live? There's somebody that looks like a wise man, mm -hmm. white beard. Mm -hmm. What else? I loved him, mm -hmm. and I think he didn't live to be too old. Is Ram his name? Ram. Mm -hmm. It's longer, but I call him Ram. I don't know what the long version is. Mm -hmm. So he lived with you in the Indian village? You loved him? <clears throat> yeah. How is he dressed now? Paint. Mm. So tell me that he'll fight. He'll fight for you? Yeah. Very good. Is he your personal guide? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how will you be able to contact Ram when you need his help? He's always there. Always there. Very good. Are there anybody else on your team that need to be acknowledged at this time? See if anybody else comes forward. I think my grandma, Georgia, is on my team. Mm -hmm. What is she looking in, in, in that form? She looks like she did here. Mm -hmm. What is she telling you? She's not saying anything. She's just smiling. Mm -hmm. But you can feel that she's on your team? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anybody else around you in that room that will be assembling to be on your team? I can't see anybody mm -hmm. else's face. Mm -hmm. So what happens to conclude this meeting? I think it took wait a while. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what do you wait for? People to be ready to go in order that they're going. Mm -hmm. So where is it that you hang out before you come into this body? I want you to see the place where you go to, what it looks like. look like to you? There are a lot of places you can go. Mm -hmm. How do you choose? You just move around and visit people in different places. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think there's one place to stay. Where do you choose to go right now? While you're waiting. There's a place that looks like mountains, Mm -hmm. but it's all trees. What do you like about this place? Really steep Mm -hmm. hills. Steep hills. And the trees are alive. They're Mm -hmm. like souls. Can you talk to them? When they move, it's not because of the wind, it's because they're moving. Uh Are they stationary or can they move around? They're stationary. Mm-hmm. But they can move as they want to. Mm-hmm. Can you communicate with them? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why is it that you like this place so much? It's very quiet. Peaceful, very peaceful. Mm -hmm. When you go there, are you by yourself or are there others there? By myself. Mm -hmm. When you're in this place, do you need to sleep or rest? No. Mm -hmm. Do you get bored of being in this place? No. Just a nice place, isn't it? Mm Mm-hmm. So let's go now to the time when you decide to be born into the soul, into the moment of Julie. Where do you need to go to to be ready? How do you know it's time? Michael comes to get me. Mm-hmm. What does he tell you? It's time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Mm. I'm okay with it. Mm-hmm. I'm rested. I can do it. Mm-hmm. So what are the thoughts that you come in with <clears throat> as you're ready to go into this life of Julie? What are your goals and aspirations for this new life? Learn as much as I can. Get as much in as possible. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to have to do it again. Mm You want to stay in your beautiful place, don't you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let me know when you're ready and how it happens. What do you see or feel when you're ready to prepare to be born? Several people are together. Mm -hmm. Who are these people? Are these your guides? Some of them. Mm -hmm. Michael's right there. I know that you call him Michael. What do they call you as a soul? Do you have a name? (laughs) 
Is there a soul name that resonates with you? I don't, I can't mm -hmm. think of it or see it. Do you feel any name? Or is it just a vibration? I think it's just a vibration. Mm -hmm. Is it a high vibration? Could it be a color? You're just you? It's a soft mm -hmm. vibration and there might be might be some blue to it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Does Michael have the same vibration or similar? It's very blue. Very blue. And your brother, you said you were soul soulmates. Does he have the same vibration as you? Light green. Light green. Beautiful. So your names are actually colors. Vibration of colors. Yeah, if somebody was calling my name, mm -hmm. I would see that color. Beautiful. Very good. So let's prepare now for the birth. And tell me what happens on the soul side. How did you pick your, your mother? She was my friend before. Mm -hmm. Was this in the Indian village? Or somewhere else? Must have been there because she's a lot of light. Mm -hmm. Does she have a color? Lavender. Lavender. Beautiful. So let's prepare now for the birth of little Julie. Tell me what happens. I don't think it's a special place to go to. I think that's just the people that are there. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I think you just close your eyes. Mm -hmm. So let's go through that process. Go ahead and close your eyes and tell me what happens on the other end. What do you feel? I think I'm Waiting to be born. Mm-hmm. Where are you? Look around you. Mm 
Yeah, my mom. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be there? Tight. Tight. What sensations are you feeling? Emotions? I don't really feel an emotion. Mm. Just waiting. Just waiting. Yeah. I hear laughing. You hear laughing? Who's laughing? Parents are laughing. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Good. Good. So let's go through the birth process. Allow yourself to be born. What's going on? It's just rough. Mm -hmm. It's muddled. Mm -hmm. You make it okay though. You make it. Was it tough coming out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now that you're out, what are you, what are you experiencing? Abandonment immediately. Mm, tell me about that. They have to be put in an incubator. My mother thinks I died. Did you? No. Mm -hmm. What really happened? Well, nobody's touching me for several days, so it feels weird not to be touched. Do you ever leave your little body to go back home? No. I'm tempted, but I better not. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I won't come back. Mm -hmm. And I can see Ram. He's my warrior. He reminds me that I'm a warrior. Mm -hmm. Is he outside the incubator? Where do you see him? In my mind. Side. Okay. So he's there reminding you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I want you to close that scene now. Close that scene. And we're going to go ahead to the moment where you were laying on concrete for a long time. And let's see what happened there. Just give up trying. No more energy. Look around you and see if there's anybody there with you, helping you, talking with you. There I am. Mm -hmm. He's not talking. What's he telling you? He's sympathetic, but pretty much it's my decision. Mm -hmm. So what decision are you, are you making there? He reminds me that I knew it would be hard. Mm -hmm. I can leave, but Let's get it all done this time, like you said. Now take a look at what's happening in your leg. And see what's created in there. The veins are damaged. Mm -hmm. Who damaged them? I did. Mm -hmm. You're very powerful, aren't you? Yep. Mm -hmm. What was the reason you damaged them? <laughs> I 
think I needed something to be damaged. Mm-hmm. But I'm not gonna. I wasn't gonna go. Because I came here to do this. Mm-hmm. So. My leg reminds me that I'm not going to go until I'm done. Mm -hmm. So you gave yourself a reminder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not done until you're done. Right. Mm -hmm. So is Ram the only one there <laughs> with you? Or look around and see if there's any others that are helping you that may not be physical. Ram is very close. Mm -hmm. Michael is a little further away. Mm -hmm. Watching. Mm -hmm. Do they say anything? No. And then there's a couple, two or three further away. Mm -hmm. But they're just watching because they know it. Ram has it. Mm -hmm. Now, Ram has chosen to be your spirit guide and at the same time your physical father. Is that correct? No. No. Just your guide. Right. Okay. Both from the village. Both from the village. What about Michael? Michael wasn't at the village. No, okay. He was just he at, was... at the planning. Yeah. Okay. He's on my team. He's on your team. Anybody else around you that you see that are part of your team? Are these two or three people part of your team? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's the basic three or four or five people and then other people come and go. Okay. They're there just to help. Right. Okay. But Ram is basically the one. Ram and Michael. Ram and Michael. Very good. Very good. All right, we're going to take you out of that place. See you leaving that place. And let's go to another significant lifetime that gives you the answers to the questions that you have. I want you to go drifting and floating. See if you see any people that in the lifetime of Julie, that were in your lifetime, in other lifetimes. What do you experience? My friend Donna. Mm -hmm. I think we were monks mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. What kind of relationship did you have as monks? Just a strong friendship. Mm-hmm. Very good. I want you to go deep into that lifetime and see what information you can gather from it. How it's being used now in the life of Julie. We were trying to know God. Mm-hmm. And what happened? What did you discover? <laughs> Knowing God makes people that don't know God look pretty yucky. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you 
really knew God then? Yeah. Did it make you feel that you were maybe above others? No. Just wiser? Clearer vision. Clearer vision. Very good. Do I have permission to ask questions? Thank you. I know you could have shown Julie many different lifetimes today. And I think we understand why you showed her the one of the village. Can you explain even further why you showed her that? To remember that it's possible. To be surrounded by people that care about you. Mm -hmm. Does she feel that she's not at this time? She has a few close people. Mm -hmm. But it's different than a whole village. Mm -hmm. That was a wonderful life. Where was this place? Montana. Montana. How long ago was it? What year? 1837. Mm-hmm. And then life changed. Mm-hmm. We understood by her counsel why she needs to be here. What would you like to tell her even further? Why does she have to be in this lifetime? She doesn't want to come back. She doesn't have to come back. Mm -hmm. That's why it's been a hard one. Mm -hmm. She knows that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does she need to get done still in this lifetime? The hard parts are over. The first half of life was the lessons. Mm -hmm. The second half will be helping, which is still a lesson, mm -hmm. but it's easier. <clears throat> what kind of helping does she need to do? She wants to know how to best help people. Going to the sunshine <laughs> on a cloudy day. <laughs> they don't have to look if they don't want to. Mm -hmm. Just show them where it is. Mm -hmm. So be an example. <clears throat> yes. Mm -hmm. Is she doing that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything? She forgets. She doesn't think she is, but she is. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to tell her now to remind her? of her mission. It's a very negative time. Mm -hmm and space mm -hmm. and it's difficult to be in it mm -hmm. but that's what that's what you do that's the reason that it's difficult it's supposed to be difficult that's why you come here. Mm -hmm. To experience all of these challenges? <laughs> yes. 
there are five candles in the house, you're not going to put them all in one table. Mm -hmm. Put them in different rooms. So these light workers that have come here are in different places to light up. have to be more spread out. Mm-hmm. In the village, everybody was together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But now all those people are in different places. Mm-hmm. In groups of two or three or four. To help each other. So that there won't be one really bright room. Mm-hmm. Okay. There'll be several rooms where you can see mm-hmm. the sun. Mm-hmm. And she's one of those lights. Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you tell Julia, what are these faces that she's always seeing? (laughs) Who are they? She doesn't know who they are. I think she's eavesdropping. She's eavesdropping. She's traveling and she doesn't know it. <laughs> she's just looking at stuff. So this is like astral traveling? Yeah. Mm-hmm. While she's awake? Yeah, she's always trying to be aware mm-hmm. and connected. She's better at it than she thinks. Ah. Well, she says she's been wanting to work on her intuition. Yeah. You're saying she already has it. Yeah. But what's the purpose of the faces? Is she learning anything from them? She's learning that she has intuition. (laughs) (laughs) So how can she use this intuition better? How can she hone in on her skills? Not be so random and nosy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, Set an intention. Mm, Okay. And know that trust trust what you get. Mm Mm-hmm. She doesn't trust herself. What a particular skill set does she have, like an intuitive? She knows what people are feeling and thinking. Mm-hmm. So she's an empath? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, she's tried automatic writing. That doesn't seem to work for her, does it? It's too easy. (laughs) She didn't come here for easy. Mm Mm-hmm. So what is it that she's looking for? She just needs to feel connected so she can make it. Mm Mm-hmm. Can't make it without being connected. Why had she felt so disconnected? Being in this plane, this realm, Mm -hmm. away from more more light, Mm -hmm. can she focus on her own light and expand it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you show her how to do that today, so that we can? Get her into a mode where she can help more people. Show her how to do it. Explain it so that she understands. What is she getting from you? Imagine it and feel it growing and expanding. You can send it where you want it to go 
or you mm-hmm. can use it as a feeler to pick up on something that needs your attention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can set it up with a bell and you can hear a bell ring if there's something that needs your attention. Mm-hmm. So what would she prefer to hear? Is the bell a good one for her? A little bell. A little, little, like, dinner bell sound. Okay. So go ahead and give her that ring now so she knows what it sounds like. Can she hear it? Yep. Mm -hmm. So when she hears that bell, what does she need to be, what does she need to do with her mind? Turn your attention towards the bell. Mm -hmm. And is that a way to direct her psychic abilities? To pick on, pick up on Mm -hmm. something that needs your attention. Okay. And she'll just know it? Yeah. Okay. Is that something that anybody can do? Um, everyone has the power to do it. Mm-hmm. There's some work that has to be done first mm-hmm. to get to that point. Okay. Has Julie done that work? Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. She had a question about the business that she's going into. The clothing business. Should she do this? Yes. Mm -hmm. She seems to really believe in it. Who guided her towards that? It came to her. It came to her. She didn't look for it. Mm. So she should go ahead and start marketing this line of clothing? Yes. It'll be an added income that'll take away stress. Okay, wonderful. And make her feel comfortable too. Yeah. (laughs) I can't wait to try mine. (laughs) Excellent. Anything else that you have for Julie today? Maddie was Emma. Mm -hmm. Not Noah. Noah hasn't come back. Mm Mm-hmm. They seem to give her a lot of pleasure, those dogs. She always has to have a dog. Mm-hmm. And they come back to her. Yeah. Very good. Are there any of the dogs that want to give her a message today? Oh. No, he's just going to wait for her. He doesn't want to come back. Okay. Well, that's okay. Mm-hmm. Is he with her in spirit? Yes. Okay, very good. Are we complete today? Yes. Mm-hmm. There's nothing else we need to take care of, no body scan to see if she's okay? She does that all the time. Very good. Very good. So I'd like to thank the Higher Self and all of the other entities that we were speaking to today. Thank you very much for the assistance you've given Julie today. I know she's really going to appreciate it. Welcome back. How do you feel? So awesome. It was awesome? It was so awesome. Was it what you expected? You've watched a lot of these videos, my dear. How did it compare? It was just great. I mean, I was kind of worried that I couldn't do it. <laughs> and then I just like... You were there. I say what I'd see, like the sun, there's clouds, but look at the sun, like, uh-huh. I was dumb, but that's what I was seeing. It was cool, it was so cool. How long do you feel you're on this journey? Honestly, how did it feel? An hour. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see, an hour-ish, yeah, it was about an hour and 15 minutes. 
And I think we got everything covered. It was great. All of your questions were answered by pretty much in between your life. Very few. I just kept seeing Michael's eyes everywhere. He was always with me. Isn't that amazing? Always. And Ram. Ram's always with me. I know that. Mm hmm Good. So I usually ask this question at the end. Do you want to share this? If you think there's something to share, sure. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing really personal about no. it. It was just life between life life and how you how you that was a cool place with the trees where they were alive yeah they were like (laughs) (laughs) that was cool i was wondering if they were walking around (laughs) they were just like you know just swaying like 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 hi yeah like they had a million arms instead of just two wow amazing cool amazing good all right so look at the camera so we just had a really nice session this was a life between life. Life between life. And that beautiful village. Oh my God. How do you feel now? You've, you've been seeing these sessions mm-hmm. all this time. How many have you seen? A lot? 80% of them. Let's <laughs> skip a few. <laughs> okay. And so you've been watching it as a viewer. How do you feel on this side now? Um, it's awesome. It's easier than you think it's going to be. Um, it's surprising. <laughs> I was I didn't think I'd be surprised, but I was. Mm-hmm. Um, it's good to do. If you have anything that you're wondering about that you've wondered about for ever, it's good to do. And we have all your questions answered. Yep. Mm-hmm. But you didn't have that many. No, I've done a lot of work on my own, but mm-hmm. this is. Good. Mm-hmm. And you've been hypnotized, good. well, you've been doing meditation before. Yeah. How does this compare to meditation? It's just deeper. Mm-hmm. And I'm really glad, that's the best thing about doing this, is now I know how to go deeper. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be a huge help in my life. And now do you know the difference between you and your higher self? Yes, that was the second coolest part, the higher self. How did it feel when it came in? It's awesome. Well, describe it. Describe it. Like, like, let, me, let me step back and tell you what you're doing. Uh huh. Did you feel like you shifted back? Yeah, it was like higher up. Just. Mm hmm. And something calmer. Came. Yeah. Wiser. Uh, a little less emotional about everything. Uh huh. It's cool. Kind of like me in the sessions. Right. <laughs> me now right. and then me doing the session right. is my higher self so yes. when you're listening to me doing the sessions <laughs> you're listening to my higher self really that's it's basically cool. it right very cool. so you can see the difference mm-hmm. great everybody loves to do this i think so so how far did you come oh <laughs> 15 minutes tops we're in st louis <laughs> right now so she lives in st louis yeah i just live the next town over so that's great yeah. and it just happened that Thank you for traveling. You're welcome. And I'll be traveling all over the place. Uh, if you want a session with me, you can go to albawineman.com. There's a tab there that says out of town, and that will tell you where I'm going to next. However, there are sessions I'll be doing in the future, so if you want to know about them, just go to the mailing list and sign up, and you will be the first to know where I'm going to next so that you can sign up because there's very little slots. All right? So, awesome. good. Anything else to tell everybody? You have to do this. You really have to do It's that. cool. It's, it's cool. so cool. <laughs> It'll change your life. Even when you think it won't, it will. I think it's cool. It's cool. And I told you about my past yeah. lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So n- until next time, bye. Bye. Big hug. <laughs> I love this part. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was great. That was great.